Shanquella went to Mexico with who she thought were her friends. Shanquella didn't return. Stay tuned. God bless you, friends. Thank you for joining me on Morning Nuggets on this Monday morning. I pray that each and every one of you had a great weekend, and I pray that this video finds you well. If you like what you will have heard before the end of this video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Shanquella was a young lady who went to Mexico with her friends. Long story short, she did not come back alive. In fact, they had a funeral Saturday. One story said that she had alcohol poisoning. And then a video surfaced where a friend attacked her, causing Shanquella to lose her life. Friend, that is unfortunate. Friend, we got to be mindful and we got to be careful about who is in our circle. Everybody who says, they're your friend. It's not your friend. Some people are in your life to destroy you because they're jealous. Some people have other agendas. Ask God to give you some discernment. Watch the signs. Be aware because everybody who's close to you is not for you. And sometimes that can be family. It was unfortunate that Shanquella, and I hope I'm pronouncing the baby's name right, went to Mexico with a group of people I'm sure she was comfortable and she trusted them. That's why she went on the trip or else I don't think she would have gone. So they deceived her. I know they weren't her friends for this lady to take her life in an altercation. They could have talked it out if they were friends. And then somebody was in the room filming. That wasn't a friend. Because if there were other people there and they say they were friends, they should have stopped it and got in between it. So they didn't mean her any good from the beginning. And it's so unfortunate, a 25 year old young lady lost her life. And Saturday was the funeral. That funeral could have been avoided. Friend, there's a scripture in the word that says, know them that labor among you. And Paul was essentially talking about respected leadership. But I like to take that in terms of being aware who is around you and who is in your circle. Having that discernment to know who's for you. And when you see signs and if you get that gut feeling down you saying, hey, this person doesn't mean you no good, you need to ask that person to get away from you or you need to step away for something devastating happen. Maybe your best friend, your girlfriend or family member, somebody close said, wait a minute, that boyfriend, that girlfriend, uh -uh, I see some signs that you need to break up with that person and you didn't do it and something crazy happened not that they necessarily took your life but you said within yourself my gosh all this heartache and pain i should have listened to my best friend i should have listened to my sister i should have listened to my mom or i wouldn't be going through what i'm going through now this situation where the young lady lost her life this is not just limited to this situation but this represents many of you and many people you know that somebody came in and just took that life from you, whether it was your child or a sibling or a parent or a close friend. Some of you experienced the same hurt that this father is experiencing. And the father's very hurt. He said, this is his only child. And I want you to listen to what he has to say. They left her there for the maid to find her. Don't you know how much the pain my daughter suffered for the injuries, you know, that she took, you know, she can smile or something, smile or something, man. You know, you know, for them to sit there and try to get her no help or nothing. Friend, we got to be aware. And I'm going to pray for this father. I want to pray for others that this represent, that God would heal and touch and strengthen you. So, Father, we just pray for that father right now. We pray for that mother. We pray for that whole family, friends who were affected by this death. And Lord, we pray for those other so-called friends that you would bring justice to the situation. Bring justice, Father. And Father, during this time while you're at work, I pray that you would strengthen the family, the father, the mother, undergird them with peace and comfort right now. Lord, and many others who 
have experienced this and who are experiencing this, I pray that you will stretch forth your hand of mercy and grace right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we thank you. Amen. In the meantime, in between time, be at peace and